Hello everybody, my name's Just G and first of all I'd like to just welcome everybody to the channel. We are going to be showing how to protect a large area with World Guard as well as have a smaller area for players to be able to build in who own this area that can break and place blocks but can't ordinarily do it on this area. I am a admin of a server called United Flames SMP and we did exactly this but without the priority sets thing we just allow people to break and place blocks over it, this area. But our good friends over at Hermit Society, who is another server that we are good friends with, asked if uh, we could help them do this, but with the priority set regions. And I'll link both servers in the description and you should totally check out both of them. So the first things that we're gonna do to do this is we are going to need some plugins. This is World Guard and World Edit. And an optional one, but highly recommended, is World Edit Visualizer. So once you have those plugins installed and ready to go, what you want to do next is find the furthest peaked area on two accesses. In this case, it's the boat and the piece of sand over there. So once you have that location, what you want to do next is you want to do slash slash position one. And then you want to go all the way to the other side of the area that you want to protect and find the peaked area on that axis and that axis and do exactly the same. So once you found the area that peaks most on this axis and this axis, you just want to do position two. And you'll notice that you get an error to say that visualizer will not render anything. This is because it is such a large area, it's limited to how much it can visualize. That will come in play when we set the regional area for the shop on its own. So what you want to do next is you want to expand this selection to bedrock and build limit because at the minute it's just selecting the Y axis. So you want to do slash slash expand and then a number in this case I'll do 200 and then down. And that selected everything from the y-axis that we was at down to bedrock. And we want to do the same again to up. So now everything is selected within the area. You just want to do slash region create and a name for the selected area. In this case, we're going to call it shopping. And then the first thing that you want to do is you want to set the priority for this area. If you was just having this region on its own without any overlapping regions, this would not be necessary. So you want to do slash region, set priority, and we'll set it to one, but you need to put the name in first. So it's region set priority, shopping, the name, and then one. So now we have set our priority list for that. We want to do region info. And this is where you set all your flags for what people can and can't do. So you want to be able to you know, use, interact, but you don't want TNT explosions. You know, go through the list and allow and deny the stuff that you want. So on this page we're going to deny everything from mob damage all the way down to Enderman griefing and everything in between. So once you've done that, this area is now protected. However, people can still break and place blocks. You'll see the permissions there cannot be set in this menu. That's because you don't need it to protect it, but if you don't want this to ha be allowed, you have to set it manually within the command. So the easiest way that I found to do that is by doing region info again to bring up the flags and then just click on any one of these and then change gas fireball for example to block slash break and we want to deny that and we want to do the same for placing blocks. So if we do region info again and see the flags you can see that it's now denied. So now you want to set a secondary region for somebody that has just purchased a shop. So you want to do slash slash wand to give you the tool 
and then you just want to make your selection. You don't need to use the one to do this. I'm just going to select that block down there. But you'll notice that this sticks out from the middle, but I want to select it from the end, but at that level. So you, you can always just line yourself up and then do position two. And this is where the visualizer takes in play because you can actually see what you're selecting. So say for example, your owner of the shop wants to go down to make a basement, redstone, that kind of thing. You can do slash slash, expand, so give it a number say 20, down. And now we've done that, you want to do slash region, create, and a name that you want to call it. So I'm going to set this to my alt accounts shop. So it is just that. And you might want to add the word shopping or shop or something at the end just to identify what it is or chords or something like that. So once you've done that, you want to make this a higher priority than this area. So the permissions to do stuff in this area overrides this area. So you want to do slash region set priority and the name of the region, in this case it's my alt account's name, and then a number. So now this will override permissions set on this level. So you want to do region info again and you'll see that we get a different menu this time. This is because you've got regions that are overlapping so it just asks you wi which region you would like to select. So you just pick the region that you want and then you can go through and set your flags again. If it's not set at all, it will go by the flags that are set in the lower priority. So now we've done that, you want to add a person, an owner who has purchased the land. So the way to do that is to add them as a member. So this region add member this specifies the world that it's in, so it would be nether or the end if it was in a different dimension. And then this is the region's name. And then you just want to add a member to that list. So now we've got our alt account added to the list. There's a few other things that you need to take in consideration. So you want the builder of the shop to be able to rotate item frames, but not necessarily people visiting the shop. You don't want them to rotate item frames. So to add a permission for members only, so this command is a flag and then the region's name, in this case it's my alt account, and then slash G means that it's a group and the group is the members and then the flag and allow. And you also want to enable that for block placing and block breaking because otherwise they won't be able to do it. So block slash breaking, allow that, and also for block place. So now if we do region info, select our region, you can see now that we've got some extra flags and they've got the slash G members at the end. So that shows that people that are in the members category are allowed to do exactly that. You just want to go through and enable and disable. So now we're back in our alt account and you can see that I don't have permission to place or break any blocks in this area but if I go over to here I can which enables me to build. I can interact with item frames press buttons, open chests, all that good stuff. The one other thing to consider is TNT. As you remember, I denied use of TNT in the regional area, the shopping district area, but I didn't allow it in this area, so can't place any TNT. However, if you are an admin and you would like to bypass these rules, you would need the permission, world guard, dot bypass. So the next thing that you need to take in consideration is the ability to use ender chests and shulker boxes. 
at the minute you can't play shulker boxes anywhere I can place them in here but this is because it's my shop but if I was to do that in somebody else's shop I wouldn't have permission to. so now I've opted myself you can take in consideration of how to set up the shulker box placements you can either do this two ways one by selecting a large flat area that you can enable the permissions to place shulker boxes down or you could have marked areas dotted around which would then have a, the permissions to place shulker boxes down on so the way that we do that for a flat area for example would be position one and then run to the next area and do position two and again this is where the visualizer comes into play so once you have that selected you can do region create shulker for example and in this region we want to do region info again we want to select the shulker tag and we want to be able to use and interact and chest access but we also want to enable break and place blocks but again we can't do that so we do slash region info again go to shulker click on one of these and then do block break allow and again the same for block place so now we've got that set up we can do region info again and you can see now that they have been placed you don't want to do this in the members category because that would mean adding everybody that joins the server to that members role where in the flags is just a global permissions based thing and you also want to set the priority to this higher than one as well yet again region set priority shulker two because this does not overlap with that one we don't need it to be on say priority three because it doesn't overlap so now if I deop myself and grab myself a shulker you can see now that I can place interact and break shulkers but on this area is not allowed to do now you might be wondering what happens if you're in survival and you place your shulker in an area that doesn't allow it to be placed you just lose it so now I'm in survival mode and I've got my shulker box I can place it on there and interact with it and break it but what happens if I place the shulker box in a region that doesn't allow for it to be placed it just goes straight to your inventory so there's no worry about losing an item or anything like that the downside with this is it's not just shulker boxes that are allowed to be placed you can place anything however it's only within the selected area that you can place it and again for these areas you would just do exactly the same you would do position one position two and then set your region for just that block there and exactly the same so what happens if a member of the public comes to the shop and they've got their shulker box full of richities and they can't place them you might want to ask your members if they can have set areas where they can place their shulker box down and get their items out so say for example this is one of the set areas so you could just do position one position two and then region create and then call it shulker shop for example so then now you would do region set priority shulker shop and then three because you want to override both the global for the shopping district permissions as well as this shop's permissions so now it's at three you can do region info again and now you've got three separate things to interact with 
and then you just set your flags in there as well. So you want to enable chest access and interact and use. And then again, with these, you can't just do them as they are. You have to go through and do it like this. So it's lock slash break allow and lock place allow. So now somebody is not a member of this shop, but they can come over and place their shulker box in this area. So now if somebody comes into the shop that is not a member, they can place their shulker box down. And I will just demonstrate this by doing region info and then go into the shop that I own and then removing me as a member. So now I am not a member of the shop. I can't place my shock box down in this area because it's not been set diagnosed but I can do it on this area and I can also do it on this area just around here but I can't place it anywhere else or break blocks or rotate item frames but what I can do is interact with chests. So I hope that you found this tutorial informative and that you can now use World Guard to protect a large area of land as well as have priority set areas. I thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.